We got these little tiki huts as well. Now the the other kind are also called Oreos, which are for drying meat and cheese and grain and that sort of thing. And these look very cool, nicely woven. Well, those are the blackberry brambles, maybe. I don't recognize the wood, but your weaver's wood. And then over here, we have an old church, Santa Maria. Just getting started this morning. Look at the sculpture up here. Santa Maria and then a cemetery off behind it. leaves on these trees are dropping. I feel like we're definitely getting into fall here. A nice forest this morning and definitely a different one up here. You can see pretty certain those are eucalyptus trees that are shedding their bark. This part of uh, the hike they, or the walk they said we'll be going through eucalyptus forest and that was one right there. We get a lot more moisture here than where we were about a week ago. It's That's just a nice looking bridge. Old one, we just saw a sign back there. We're gonna be reconstructing it, so putting out the due notice of how much money they're gonna spend. And it says 54 kilometers left. Woohoo! It actually is a medieval bridge over the Rio Furilus. Nice. Looks like they've done some reconstruction of it already. up already working the chainsaw. And behind this bush is another Oreo. Not like the cookie. The thing that they dry meats and grains and cheese in. Super handy looking. Here in Furalos, Furalos. Um, we'll be walking into town. They have these nice signs to help us figure out where things are. And if you see up there a blue dotted line coming in, um, that's where the Camino Primitivo comes in. And so several paths to Santiago have been created over the years. The Primitivo comes in from the coast and it will be joining us on the way to Santiago. <laughs> where are we going? That's where we're going. This mural is about Isidro Pardo, beekeeper, and probably more famous than that. But his quote here on the sign says, I'd like to make a human hive. If people stuck together like bees do, the world would be a better place like that. Well, it's fitting that I'm sucking on a eucalyptus throat drop while we walk through a eucalyptus forest. Um, well, that wasn't just a coincidence because both of us are feeling gnarly this morning. We, it seems like food poisoning or something like that. Uh, we talked to somebody else. She passed us earlier today. We're going quite slow. Um, 
and she didn't feel sick so it might have been something else we ate yesterday but so we're taking it easy today um we have a long day ahead because i already shipped my pack a little further ahead because my um leg was still acting up despite being bandaged and whatnot so took a bunch of pounds off by shipping my bag to the next albergue which means we need to go get it tonight and we said we'd do 35k today which is a big day <laughs> especially given we're feeling crappy but it's a nice day and we could just walk until we get there and take all day if we want to so uh check this out we're part of this forest here neat little stream good job jumping across there <laughs> has to be in significant rocks in Oregon that would be a tree but these are rocks here because they grow rocks maybe we spoke too fast these might be the eucalyptus plantings the leaves are significantly different oh no look at the top see how narrow the leaves are at the top those are like the other ones different shaped leaves to point out that seriously anytime we go by a garden they have a massive stand of kale or collards like it's huge every time we go by a garden the interesting thing is we never see kale or collards on the menu a little bit of an update um still walking which is great because uh looks like i'll be able to do the full 35k today with my bandage invention for my leg and uh, we're both kind of not feeling great Michael's stomach is a bleh but he'd rather be walking than sitting in a bed somewhere not going anywhere so that's his choice and the other update is there's something called gaseous water when you buy it and I didn't read closely and I bought carbonated water to put in my camelback and update it doesn't really work very well I got some in there but every once in a while I have to release the pressure <laughs> but we needed a little bit of water to finish our thing today so I'm drinking carbonated water in a platypus actually it's not a camelback it's called a platypus different name brand either way it's not the best thing so every time you move it shakes it up and then more things come out and then it wants to drip out the end. Here's my edge job with some uh, tensor tape and an ankle bracelet and it seems to be much better especially on these lower flats or these flatter roads. From a distance we weren't sure quite what these were and I realized they're beer bottles and people have their dates names on them they're made into various structures along here definitely fun for many many years it's a beer called peregrina it's a female name for peregrino that's super fun <laughs>